Hello, uh, welcome to a new video. Um, this is Sosis Merguez, and uh, we're going to do Destiny Industries this time. So, uh, as you can see, there's four parts. We're just going to do uh, the first three. The fourth one, uh, Factory Compound, uh, we're going to leave for a uh, um, uh, video that's um, to come in the uh, near future. So, let's just jump in, and uh, I'm going to let you listen to the soundtrack here. Yeah. Um, have a listen and we'll be back here right afterwards. Okay, there you go. Uh, this song was uh, actually called uh, Black Bandana, and uh, it's a uh, song that the only song in the game that has uh, singing in it, I believe. Uh, uh, well, actually, um, in the mission uh, Operation Sledgehammer, there's a song uh, that's familiar to most fans of the series. It's uh, Ave Maria, and uh, they play it for for a little. Well, they give you a glimpse of it, really. Uh, at the end of the mission. So yeah, the soundtrack, uh, like I said in the Run For Your Life video, uh, is not composed this time around by uh, Jasper Kidd. Uh, the, uh, well really, he's really a part of the Hitman series now, but uh, for this one, uh, there's a new composer. I believe there's uh, two composers actually, but uh, I don't know their name, so. Uh, but, uh, Looking at the soundtrack in this game, um, it really, um, apart from that one music you just heard, um, there's no real music per se uh, to really uh, talk about. But uh, the thing uh, about this soundtrack is that there's, um, it's quite unique, really. Uh, there's, uh, it's mostly sounds, uh, little, little, little sounds, little loops uh, that go around. Uh, as you travel through the levels and uh, do stuff, for example, if you pick up a key card or something like that, a little um, sound will play uh, a bit like music, but not not exactly. Uh, just um, to highlight uh, the actions you do uh, throughout the levels, or if you um, kill someone with the with a with a weapon or something, there will be a sound sometimes that plays. Um, it's really a uh, really great uh, soundtrack. Uh, I've never really seen anything quite like it in uh, any video game, really. And it just shows, uh, well, it just pushes the um, cinematic uh, feel of the the game uh, a bit more, and uh, it uh, just shows how uh, well crafted this game is uh, overall, and how they really thought uh, thought it out. Uh, every aspect of the game to make it uh, inno innovative and uh, memorable really um, I promised uh, I well I promised myself I would uh, well say uh, a little or less but <laughs> it's uh, very difficult it's a subconscious kind of thing so uh, I'm gonna try my best to make sentences without uh, this this problem so here I threw um, the mail bar to distract this guard. The problem is uh, it landed in the corner of the uh, shelter, so uh, as you can see, he's, he's hidden from my gun, so I can't really kill him. And I'm gonna get uh, spotted uh, a bit, so... But thankfully I'll kill him before he shoots uh, his gun. And uh, talking about that, uh, the only real way I can fail these uh, these videos is if uh, either guards start coming for me, or many guards get alerted and start looking for me, or if a single shot gets fired. But here he didn't uh, get me, so uh, I'm good to go. So I picked up the wrench uh, on my way. 
This level uh, took me quite a few tries before I could get it uh, really perfect and uh, kill everyone silently. As you see uh, here, I'm basically uh, crouching behind this, so uh, the guards uh, in the end of the field uh, don't see me. Here, you have to be quick, otherwise this guy will see you. So, uh, going back to um, the soundtrack in the Hitman series in general, I would say my favorite uh, out of the games is uh, the first one, uh, the first soundtrack of uh, Hitman uh, Codename 47. Just because I really like the um, electronic uh, sounds uh, Jesper Kidd uh, composed, it really uh, gives uh, this really, uh, again, unique feel to uh, every level you play. Uh, and just, uh, it's a soundtrack I actually like to listen to. Uh, uh, it just, uh, just to chill out. Uh, it relaxes me too, so uh, that's a good thing. It's a really, really good soundtrack. Uh, but all of them are really uh, good in, in their own right, but uh, that one is uh, one I like in particular. Uh, Hitman 2 uh, had... Uh, well, the soundtrack was uh, more action-oriented and uh, with uh, big symphonies and uh, all that kind of stuff. The third Hitman was uh, went back to more electronic type music uh, to um, be compatible with the atmosphere of the, that game, which was very dark and uh, quite mysterious in a way. And uh, Hitman 4. Um, Blood Money, where there's, there's a few symphonies, and it's uh, really a masterpiece in its uh, in its own way. So here we're just doing the usual trick of uh, luring these guards. I'm actually gonna at the end of this this video, I'm gonna show you um, the previous footage I recorded from this level. But uh, unfortunately, uh, that footage didn't have sound. Uh, AVS video editor de decided uh, not to record the sound for some reason. So I had to restart my computer. And uh, then it, it worked again. I love the kill with the screwdriver in this game. It's really cool. So I'm, I'm going to lure more guards. Uh, there's actually three guards left. And uh, it took me a while to figure out how to kill these guys for some reason, but uh, I, I don't know why, because it's pretty easy to just toss an object uh, in that direction and uh, can take them out one by one. You can also uh, throw the screwdriver on guards and it kills them uh, in one hit, obviously, like all the uh, throwable objects in the game. Oh, there's, I um, wrote down a bunch of stuff to uh, talk about, uh, but first I'd like to talk to you about uh, something uh, a bit different. Uh, there's actually a bunch of YouTubers uh, who um, did uh, some remarkable stunts on this game, uh, like completing a level suit only uh, without getting detected, killing a uh, uh, every target with a signature kill, uh, getting the evidence, and even a speedrun uh, speed aspect uh, to these videos. I would recommend the one in particular, it's called uh, Prenatural. Uh, it's uh, spelled uh, P R E N A T U L A L. Sorry. Prenatural. Not prenatural, prenatural. And he's uh, really great, uh, this guy. Well, they're all great in their own right. I saw a, a bunch of uh, players do uh, do these feats, and uh, it's really impressive. Uh, you should check them out if you like this game uh, and uh, want to see more and see uh, something uh, that's quite an exploit, really. Because getting by some levels suit only uh, without alerting uh, the guards is. Uh, extremely difficult, very, very tough. Of course, um, 
Yeah, you check them out. It's really good. Another thing uh, I didn't talk about much was the uh, Placer 2 engine, which is the uh, new engine, uh, graphical engine from the, the, the series. And uh, this particular engine is really impressive in my opinion. The graphics uh, look just amazing. Uh, not just um, in general, but uh, looking at uh, every single aspect the character models look uh, great. When even when you compare the the characters from the cutscenes to uh, when you see them actually see them in game, they look just perfect. And uh, so yeah, the models look great. And uh, just the graphics of these this uh, really slick um, uh, color scheme, everything. Uh, the physics also is uh, very impressive. Uh, the new ragdoll, uh, like I said in another video, looks just great and uh, very realistic as well. So, uh, and there's, then there's the crowds, uh, obviously look uh, uh, amazing. Really, uh, the graphics, uh, there's nothing to really complain about. It's all, it's all. Um, in my opinion, uh, fantastic. And uh, again, it shows how well crafted the game is. So yeah, I'm distracting these two guards by uh, turning off the uh, the game they're playing. I don't know if you uh, I can actually uh, see anything on the screen. Uh, maybe I should have tried and uh, see what's on the TV. But uh, I be well, actually, I believe I looked before, but uh, I don't remember what's on the screen. Um, so yeah. So again, the funny, funny dialogues uh, when you listen to uh, the guards in this game. Yeah, fighting over the game and stuff. Pretty cool. This part itself is pretty easy because there's only three guards uh, that patrol around this uh, area. Well, not patrol for these two guys, but uh, there's another guy. Who comes down the stairs? It's very easy to take out. Uh, there's not much challenge here, really. And uh, it's fun. It's still uh, a lot of fun. This level is very good for doing these uh, videos because uh, obviously the there's, um, the guards are really distant from each other. And it's easy to lure them uh, anyway, uh, even if they weren't uh, distant from each other. So we're picking up the key card, uh, which uh, will uh, well uh, help us uh, get through um, a door. But uh, we're not actually going to use this key card. In fact, the well, one just picking it up in case, just in case. If you actually go on the left here, there's a gun uh, at the top of the stairs. It's a good gun if you want to shoot your way through. We're still playing in normal mode, by the way. Well, you you saw that in the beginning, I believe. And here's a really great view of uh, Dexter Industries with the helicopter flying off. So there's Dexter Industries written on the uh, the the big uh, wall. And you can see, uh, even from a distance, the game looks great. There's really this nice um, warm color scheme. Uh, it's just very. Uh, you can feel the heat uh, that's in in the game because obviously it would be very warm uh, where 47 is. Yeah, you really feel uh, like you you're in the level and uh, it's wonderful. Uh, there, I, I don't understand why the place is crumbling down, but uh, I guess it's just for a cinematic kind of feel. This is my favorite part of the, this video. Uh, here you just take out this guy, and, like in the first mission. And uh, if you can see uh, there on the uh, on the tables, uh, there's proximity mines, which uh, is a really great weapon to use. You just uh, you can even you, you just throw them uh, near to, near a guard, and it blows up. It's really you can really do some cool kills with it. There I'm killing this guard so I can lure uh, 
the other guard next to him uh, with the body and to take him out. Uh, Okay, I'm going to talk about um, point shooting for, uh, quickly because uh, there's a part where I use point shooting in this uh, level. Point shooting, I didn't really talk about it, but it's a very new uh, mechanic uh, in the Hitman series um, where you basically uh, mark uh, your enemies and uh, 47 takes them out in a, in a pretty cool uh, cinematic uh, cutscene. Well, you can turn it off if you like. Uh, it makes the the mechanic quicker. And there you go. Just mark these guys and press square. And uh, there, they're dead. It's really useful uh, for doing these uh, videos as well. Uh, obviously, uh, oh, here I had to cut because uh, later in this video I cut the the part, but out, but. So I got caught and uh, I had to restart to this checkpoint. But uh, I'll show you after this video, uh, well this particular part of the video is over. I'll show you how I did it uh, in the first uh, take on this game. I, I think I did better in some ways in the first take. So I'm going to show you and you can see uh, how it all happened. Here you, there will be a footage as well of this place. So I'm using point shooting again. Take these two guys out. It's much easier this way. There's the cinematic camera. Really cool. It's uh, mostly inspired by... Uh, in the cinematic aspect, it's inspired by Splinter Cell Conviction, which is uh, quite an old game. Uh, well, uh, I think it's quite old personally, but... Uh, it uh, had a system called mark and execute uh, where you'd mark your targets and um, just press a button and they would all get killed you'd shoot them automatically and also inspired by Red Dead Redemption system uh, uh, well, I believe actually uh, going uh, even older than that game uh, Red, Red Dead Revolver where you could mark your targets and uh, the uh, protagonist would take out the enemies. There you can see those guards, uh, the guards I took out are back. Because when you load the checkpoint, as I said uh, in previous video, guards come back. And uh, really, um, it, it sort of made the checkpoints uh, pointless in a way. But, you know, uh, in case you don't want to start everything over, it's... Uh, it's a take it or leave it kind of deal. So. Here I actually uh, didn't think there would be uh, another guard, but uh, just ignore the messages. Uh, uh, pretend like uh, I uh, killed them because uh, I didn't really want to start over because I did pretty well, I think. So. And uh, yeah, so uh, as you will see in the next footage, uh, I actually didn't didn't uh, encounter that guy I punched in the face. Really strange sometimes. It's just uh, every single time you play, it's a bit different. Oh man, I didn't talk about much in this video. Well, I talked about a bunch of stuff, but uh, you have to uh, mention a couple of things. But uh, let's get to the footage and uh, yeah, they see 47, good old 47. The next part will be in a, a future video. So uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I wish I really wish I could have posted the the sequel to this uh, in this video, but the next part is kind of tricky, and uh, I'd like to do it well and give you a good video. Uh, I'd rather have a good outcome. But don't worry. Uh, well, th oh, there's the footage. So uh, here I distracted the guard as I did before. And you see the same thing happened. Uh, the guard was hidden behind the... the... Uh, well, the TVs and, well, the computer thing. And, uh, I actually could take him out because his head was sticking out. 
that's one thing uh, with these guards uh, they are lured uh, where the, the objects uh, hit the ground not where they uh, actually hit the wall or something like that it's where they land that's where the guards go uh, look um, when you distract them there uh, something cool happened there uh, I kinda messed up but uh, you know, I punched the guy in the face. It's really cool uh, kill, by the way. There, well, it doesn't kill them; it incapac incapacitates them only. And uh, there, I uh, killed the guy that uh, investigated and got a clear. So uh, that was a cool moment too. Uh, notice how there's no sound. Uh, yeah, uh, like I told you before. Uh, my uh, video editor decided not to record uh, sound for some reason. The, but uh, I'll learn from that and I'll, I'll check every time the, before I do a video to make sure um, you guys have uh, the first take, the freshest take uh, of them all. And uh, here uh, you'll see I, I waited quite a long time. I thought this guy smoking a cigarette was actually going to move. But uh, he just kept uh, smoking and smoking. No, I don't think his animation stops. Uh, that's one thing I'd like to mention. Uh, in this game, some god seems to uh, do patrol around, and uh, some uh, just uh, will stay in place forever, just like these two guys. But uh, thankfully, that inspired me to uh, use the point shooting mechanic. And, Take them out. Point shooting uh, was heavily criticized by some fans, uh, or at least I, I believe so. And uh, but uh, in the end, it's a really good mechanic. And again, you you don't have to use it. Uh, it's it's just uh, if you want it, you you can use it. Uh, but you you don't have to uh, get into it if you don't want to. So that's pretty good. So then I waited, I got uh, a bit impatient, so I took them out, and it, it went pretty well. Again, with the camera, it's really nice. It's, but really, when you use it on multiple enemies, the camera does some really neat things. Uh, the angles look great sometimes. And here, there's a trick, uh, the proximity, proximity mine trick. Um, it's not very silent, I know, but... Uh, it's the only real way you can taste the, take these guys out and uh, get past them. And uh, I did a little bit better here. Uh, the, the other guards uh, upstairs were obviously dead by this point. Took this guy out and uh, got a clear. It's really uh, satisfying when you get a clear. You don't have to deal with too many guards. These guys uh, didn't hear anything, thankfully. So we're going uh, to kill them with point shooting again. <clears throat> and I'm glad I can show this mechanic in this video a bit more. Because uh, in case uh, some of you uh, would have liked to see it more in these videos. It's a great level for using point shooting. There's a lot of enemies too. Well thankfully I, I actually killed them all. So I'm quite happy uh, with the outcome of this video. And there you see the guard that was on the right, he's uh, not present for some reason. Strange. I wonder where he came from. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go to the elevator now. And, well, I'll turn it on first. And uh, we'll, see, well, we'll see you in the next part uh, of uh, Dexter Industries, the factory compound. There's actually a sniper we're going to use, uh, it's really cool, you, you'll see, and there's a, a suit we're going to put on, an easter egg, and uh, it's really nice. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this commentary and uh, the gameplay, uh, and we'll see, I'll see you um, in the next video, I promise uh, I'll make videos from now on, and, uh, as I said before. Or well, even though uh, I said before, um, not many people watch this uh, channel anymore. But uh, apart from my other videos, uh, the popular ones, 
So uh, yeah, I'm doing a Hitman Absolution for the moment, uh, but I'll do other games. Uh, maybe I'll do another video on Vampire: The Masquerade Bloodlines. And I was also thinking of doing uh, maybe uh, either Assassin's Creed 3 or Assassin's Creed uh, 4, uh, Black Flag. And uh, we could. Well, I don't actually have it uh, right now, but. Uh, if I buy it, we could discover it uh, together, I thought. Would be a pretty uh, interesting video to make. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, have a great uh, time, uh, whatever you're doing. See ya. Bye-bye.